What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll go ahead and show them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music under the name After Sound, and the second is a new podcast I just launched called Chasing Infinity. It is myself and ChatGPT as my AI co-host, and we dive into a wide range of topics in short-form videos just like these. So check it out. Link's in the description below, and I appreciate it the support. All right, guys, we have completed our first official day of bidding and the price blew me away. I was actually quite shocked at how much the first auction promo card, Hello East the Hollow, went for. Now, we are currently in the second one. You can see her 002. The bidding ends in a little bit under uh, a little under 19 hours and the current bid is at 900,000, which even still is quite high to me. So 900,000, but where did the first one go and who did it go to? Uh, in case you missed it, it was Housewife for the win, 1.347 million DEC. And if you look here at the bid history, you can see that there was actually not any last minute fireworks. So I believe it's like 1 p.m. my time. So from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m., like when this ended, there was nothing, right? So I, I think Housewife claimed the territory. You can see here the little kind of gamification of this or the game theory here where Housewife went big, right? So 1 million and 20 uh, where they outbid Ghost CBG. And then once a, a bunch of other people started bidding up, they went up to 1 million 79. And then when Not About Me pushed it from 1 million 89 to 1.3 million, 1.33, uh, Housewife immediately came back and made it 1.34. And I think nobody else wanted to play and they just figured that, you know, Know what we're gonna let this one go and we'll try for number two through 100 so that is actually impressive uh again i was banking on a 500,000 to 600,000 dec average obviously it might end up being a little bit more than that but you know ultimately the total would be 50 to 60 million now here we are where we were about 800,000 more than what i believe the average was and when you consider the when you consider the print rates, right? We were doing this on stream earlier. Hello is the Hollow is still going to be uh, more scarce than any of the other legendary auction. Uh, sorry, legendary or Hall of Legends legendary promo cards. There's a lot of legendaries in there. So um, at this point in time, you know, well, we'll see how Rick Lanamon goes. But at least for the first two, with with the amount being printed, obviously they're only maxed copies. Whereas you can get, you know, for the Hall of Legends, you can get them at single BCX even if you extrapolate that out, right, to the amount of BCX that would be required, which is like 11 BCX, it would be significantly less than the others. Again, around the range, but significantly less than the first two, and we'll have to see how Rick Lanamon ends up doing. So on the whole, this has been interesting to follow. Um, what's fascinating about this is it's actually a long time. I mean, it's another 99 days. This is like more than three months, and so much can change in three months. And I got to say, from an entertainment standpoint, I, I guess I can understand what Matt and the team were going for here, because now this is going to be like another thing that I come and check daily, right? It's like, oh, I, like I want to see how much it went for, Who who's here and who's trying to snipe and who's like trying to flex in terms of like getting, a, you know, the, the, the top tier ones or maybe, you know, whatever number, favorite number that they wanted. Um, but you know, at this point we're going to be well above that average 900,000 is, you know, almost double what I was hoping for in terms of, you know, our average across. And again, I, I know that the 50 to 60 million, uh, amount is probably conservative considering that, you know, if the first one went for 1.3 million, how much is a gold foil going to go for? I don't know. I mean, I would imagine at least 1.3 million. Granted, there's there's a different kind of vanity metric there, right? You could, you know, like having a gold foil is a flex because there's like one of five. But having the first one is one of one, regardless of the foil, right? So maybe you could make the argument that the gold foils actually don't go for for the same amount. They might go for the they might go for less, right? Until maybe you get to like number 100, the last one, which I believe is going to be a gold foil as well. But um, you know, we we have plenty of time we have plenty of time and considering that this is going to go through like we started this in uh november right early november so november december january i mean this will be into this will be into like mid-february by the time that we are done with the auction promo and when you think about the fact that you know this will be something to keep us entertained with all that's going on there'll be the hall of legends promos with another one in december and the final one in january hopefully around that time frame, right? At some point in, you know, between January and early February when when this will end or mid-February, I should say. 
we'll get you know some kind of insights on hardcore mode on glamour on land 1.75 and all of that kind of leading up into the conclave arcana release which uh at this point is still slated by the end of April, right? So hopefully we'll actually be getting like a pre-sale or something the month before, similar to what happens with um, similar to what happens with the, the previous sets. But that's all I have for you guys in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this price, you know, the price that it, it went for, was that higher or lower than you expected? What is the average that you see far out? And, you know, does this kind of confirm at least my thesis of 50 to 60 million or am I under, am I undershooting it or overshooting it? I'm curious to know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's all I got for you in this video. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.